What's going on guys, it's John from Motor City Metrics. Let's preview the Detroit Tigers next series against the Cleveland Guardians. This is the Detroit Tigers first series against the Cleveland Guardians of 2023. The Cleveland Guardians, obviously the defending American League Central champions. The Cleveland Guardians heading into their series against the Tigers are 9-7. and seven. The Detroit Tigers obviously 5-9. and nine. The Guardians are coming off a series win against the Washington Nationals. And for the Guardians, some numbers on them. They are first in Major League Baseball with 25 steals on the year, but they are 29th in baseball with just eight home runs, two fewer than the Detroit Tigers. Their team ERA is at 4.14, which is good for 12th in baseball. The Detroit Tigers team ERA so far this season is at 5.87. So let's talk about the Cleveland Guardians offseason additions. Josh Bell is obviously their big addition, giving him a two-year contract. A very, very surprising move for the Guardians, a team that does not usually spend a lot of money. He struggled a bit for them. OPS right now is under 600 for Josh Bell. The other offseason addition was Mike Zunino to give them some power at the catching position. Mike Zunino has been really, really good. His OPS is over 1,000 for the Guardians right now in about 30 plate appearances. And the Guardians' other two big hitters, Jose Ramirez and Andres Jimenez, while the power hasn't really been there for those two guys, they're both putting up impressive starts their season as well. The pitching matchups for this three-game set, Matt Boyd will go for Game 1, Game 2 will be Eduardo Rodriguez, and Game 3 will be Spencer Turnbull for the Detroit Tigers, all three coming off solid starts and will look to continue their early season success against the Guardians. For the Guardians, Hunter Gaddis will start Game 1. He is a fifth-round pick in the 2019 MLB Draft. In Game 2 will be Peyton Batenfield, and in Game 3 will be Call Control. And for the Detroit Tigers, we are very, very lucky. We are not going to have to see Shane Bieber, and we're not going to have to see Tristan McKenzie, as Tristan McKenzie is unfortunately injured to start the year. But I feel like for this series, the number one thing for the Detroit Tigers is keeping Jose Ramirez in check. Obviously, we all know he has been a huge Tigers killer over his career, so keeping him in check will be huge. Also, not letting Josh Bell get going as he struggled if the Tigers can keep him struggling, that would be very, very big for them as well. For the Detroit Tigers offensively, we really want to see the two youngsters, Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson, get going. They have had disappointing starts to their season. Riley Green had a really, really good couple of first games, but has struggled as of late. Strikeout rates are very, very high, and we're looking for him to get going. Special Torkelson, OPS right now is around 600. He's really struggled to start the season. Hasn't homered since April 4th. After being benched, Javier Baez responded pretty positively in this series against the Giants. We will hope that can continue. The bullpen will also be a talking point. It has really, really struggled, but hopefully AJ Hinch has found some things that have been working for him. Alex Lynch at the back end of the bullpen. Jason Foley has been really, really solid as well. Chase and Shreve, the Detroit Tigers bullpen, threw seven scoreless innings in Game 2 against the San Francisco Giants. We are hoping that will continue. But let me know your guys' expectations for the series against the Cleveland Guardians. Obviously, the Tigers have have struggled against the Guardians in recent years. Last year in the season series, the Guardians won 10-9, to so it was actually very competitive last year. The Detroit Tigers had a minus 14 run differential through 19 games for the Guardians, which really isn't that much. So I do think this could be a competitive series. Do you think the Tigers could take two out of three against the Guardians? That would be huge for the Detroit Tigers to be at 7-10 and to start the season. A very, very huge improvement over the last couple of years for the Tigers.